Hello everyone, I'm Kellen Habikin with Brownfield Ag News and I'm an anchor and reporter. It's time for another United Soybean Board checkoff chat and we're joined today by USB Chairman Megan Kaiser, who's a farmer from Missouri. Megan, welcome. Thank you for having me. I know a very important topic that we'll be talking about today is food security and how USB and checkoff dollars help with partnerships. But let's start at the farm gate level. I'm curious, how does food security relate to you as a farmer? Well, it relates to me because that's the ultimate goal, right? What we do is to nourish people all over the world. Uh, at the checkoff level, what we're doing um, is working with our partners at the U.S. Soybean Export Council and also at WISH, which is the World Initiative for Soy and Human Health. And we have soy excellence centers all over the world that have provide um, technical expertise to local farmers. So a, an example that I will give is that um, in Cambodia, we're working with local producers to install in-pond raceway systems uh, for aquaculture production. This leads to their sustainability by preventing overfishing of the oceans, but it also builds demand for U.S. soy as they use our, our soy as their feed ingredient. And so uh, it builds demand, establishes a local food economy, builds jobs, um, and really helps us work toward the goal of zero hunger. Well, and as you mentioned that, when we talk about like the idea of trade, it starts to build a healthy trading relationship as well. Talk about how you've seen that pay off through USB. You know, I recently saw that for every dollar that the United Soybean Board invests in demand development in international markets, there's around an $18 return. Um, that's incredible, an $18 return to farmers, not to USB, but to actual U.S. soy farmers. And so we know that this is critically important. Um, after, you know, our issues with our trade agreements with uh, China, um, we realized we have to diversify and we have to look at all areas. And so as we work to ensure that we have the proper nutritional bundle, that USB provides the research that shows folks that we should be a preferred choice of ingredient for their animal nutrition and pork and poultry and even dairy cows. Um, but it also helps us really be very genuine when we say we are literally feeding the world. What are some areas across the globe that USB is addressing this food insecurity issue? So I just talked a little bit about Cambodia, but we're in Vietnam, we're in Africa, um, in, in Ghana and Kenya, um, 80 plus countries that we're working in. So we have some developed markets in Europe that we continue. Uh, I heard that, you know, they still want to buy more from us because it is a preferred choice. And, you know, our on-farm practices of sustainability, of using the technology, um, even our labor practices that we have in the United States are different than the rest of the world. And that makes us a preferred choice. Well, as we talk about food insecurity, Megan, what are some other projects that USB is working on for food insecurity? So we talked about how we're building demand for people to utilize U.S. soy in their production, but there's also areas of the world that need more immediate assistance. And so we partnered with a U.S. company called Adesia and um, figured out formulations to increase the, the soy component in shelf-stable protein packs. And those are being distributed by you know, the United Nations and other charitable organizations to children all over the world. And so when I think about my kids and I tuck them in after a long day on the farm and full bellies, um, it makes me feel really good that our soy is helping other mothers tuck in their children with some food in their bellies. You've mentioned it a few times. That's a partnership. You mentioned WISH at the beginning and USEC. What is the value of having these partnerships, not only in the U.S., but globally work towards this issue? You know, when Polly Ruland became our CEO uh, six years ago now, she came on board and she said, I'm going to partner relentlessly. And so we are we, we do nothing alone. We are always looking for shared values, shared visions, whether that's uh, with other farming organizations or also sometimes un unexpected organizations. Uh, we heard from our innovation challenge um, yesterday of talking about ways that we can impact um, use soy as an ingredient in everything from kitty litter to pharmaceuticals. And um, that's a way that we're delivering sustainable soy solutions to every life every day, not only in our bio-based products, but in the nutrition that we, we develop as well. As we wrap up our, our, our conversation here, Megan, uh, how do checkoff dollars help fund some of these projects across the globe and in the U.S.? So the first thing I think of is research. Oftentimes we can't 
figure out how to include more soy unless somebody's willing to research it. Well, who's more interested in including more U.S. soy than U.S. soy farmers? So that's a natural fit. Um, we work on the promotion and reaching outside of our borders and beyond our farm gate and talking about, you know, how we produce and also what we produce in, in the high nutritional quality. Um, and checkoff dollars allow us to work collectively. And so I think every there's 515,000 U.S. soy farmers and everyone should feel pride that we've worked together, we've pooled our resources and we're having a global impact. Megan, those are my questions. Anything else you want to add? If you want to find out more about what we're doing, please come by unitedsoybean.org because there's so much information um, that I could never tell you everything about, but it's all on the website uh, and we hope that farmers engage and, 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 and take the time to feel proud of what we're doing. That's Megan Kaiser. Megan, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. She's a farmer in Missouri and the United Soybean Board Chairman. I'm Kellen Habekin with Brownfield. That's been another USB Checkoff Chat. Mm -hmm.